Hi guys, Coach Tracy here. Um, you know, a lot of us in a more mobile environment have um, offices where we can work from anywhere and face a challenge of not having as much structure when you're, say, in an office, when you can get up and walk away from your desk as you would, say, when you're at home. So I know for me, I work from home a couple of days a week, and um, although I have my food stocked and prepped and ready to go, I always find it a challenge to sort of get up from my desk and walk away to prepare my meals. So I figured I'd walk you through the process while I'm going to take my lunch break um, and walk you through the process of what I would do and how it makes it a little bit easier to follow um, a nutrition plan that is really um, modeled after whatever your daily habits are and what your daily uh, nutritional needs are and how easy that is to sort of do at home or anywhere that you are. So I've got all my... Uh, my containers sort of set out on the counter, you can see here. And um, I'm gonna pop on over to the fridge real quick and grab some food. So I try to really prepare things on Sunday because as I've mentioned before, I have a lot of food allergies that impact what I can eat. So it's not that easy for me to uh, pop out to say um, a McDonald's or Subway and grab a sandwich. There are some challenges in that. So fortunately for me, I'm in a bit more of a habit of preparing food ahead of time to ensure that I have food. But the second thing that I've sort of learned along this journey is that if I'm making dinner, I try to make enough so that I have things that are left over for food. So here's my example. On Sunday, um, sometime after I taught my cycle class, I came home and made a big serving of quinoa. Quinoa is great because it's a grain and a carb, but it also has protein in it. And what I like to do is instead of the water, I actually use chicken stock to give it a little bit more flavor. No added extra calories, but some extra flavor. So I've got a big container of quinoa that I have been eating all week long. So that's done. What I've also done, especially because now there are a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables available because of the summertime, and um, I have uh, recently developed a love for eggplant. So I grab a mandolin or a knife and slice some eggplant really thin, and I roast it in the oven about 10 minutes on each side. Um, a little bit of olive oil, um, a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic, whatever sort of seasonings that you're, you're into not so heavy on the salt, but you roast it on each side. And then you can just put it in the refrigerator. And I have actually been eating roasted zucchini slices all week. The last thing is dinner. So I have a rotisserie chicken, peel off all the chicken and put it in a container so that it's ready to go. Last night, my um, significant other um, texted me after I left the gym teaching a class and wanted to eat corn dogs for dinner. And while that's okay every once in a while, I am developing a cold. And I didn't feel like eating a corn dog, although again, okay, was going to contribute to me feeling any better. And I'm still not feeling so hot today, so if I sound congested, that's probably why. So luckily for me, I had already prepared, as I tend to do on days when I'm gonna be home late, and had thought out um, some salmon fillets. But what I did was I thought out some extra so that we could cook a bunch at the same time so that I could continue to eat these things without really much um, effort on my part. You can eat it cold or not. So here are my salmon fillets. Um, in, in preparation of salmon, you can do it any way you like. Um, I tend to find that if I salt, pepper, season it somehow, cook it, then put it back in the refrigerator once it's cooked, then that's pretty much a blank slate. In this case, what we've done is used a little bit of pesto. And you can make pesto a million different ways. I'll uh, include some links to different sorts of pestos that you can make. It's super easy. Um, and we have some basil that we've been growing out on our deck, which serves as a good foundation. Or you can buy some store-bought uh, pesto. If you shop at Sam's Club, Whole, uh, Costco, or BJ's, they have that sort of thing. And a little bit goes a long way because once it starts to heat, it starts to spread. So here's my salmon. Here is my um, quinoa, my vegetables. So what have I got going on? So I know that I use um, pesto and I use a little bit of olive oil. So that's my uh, tablespoon container. So you get four of those tablespoons a day for things like olive oil. So I'm gonna treat that as my one because there's not a whole lot. Here's my protein container. 
Great news is, let me reach down and get a fork. I take my protein container, take a piece of salmon. This is looking like it's probably gonna be about half of this piece of salmon. Drop it in there. If it fits, can I get more in there? Maybe. Now you don't want an over pile of, like you don't want it hanging over the container, but I mean, this takes two seconds to sort of cut some pieces out and see how it fits. There, so there's my red. Let me grab, grab a plate. Plate, dump it out. Bam, there's my protein. Perfect serving, healthy, salmon. Now here's my cheating for, the, uh, for our carbs. Here's my yellow container. Here's my quinoa. I literally scoop it in there. Now I'll preface this by telling you that I also throw mushrooms into my quinoa because that's like my secret added vegetable, even though I like mushrooms, but it's still my extra added vegetable. So nice and even on the plate it goes. Last one. It, are my veggies. Now your veggies are your green container and it's the largest one. And it's like that for a reason. It's like that because, well, you need a lot of veggies. So I'm gonna take my eggplant, drop it in there. Hopefully I have enough to fill the container. If not, I fortunately have enough vegetables left over. So here are my zucchinis, sorry, my eggplants. Take it, drop it off on the plate. Now, everything is now completely done. Ooh. I have a full plate of food. And fortunately for me, all I need to do now is toss this in the microwave, heat it up, and I'm ready to eat. Simple, easy, and quick. Again, this is Coach Tracy giving you tips on how to get through your work from home days and still eat healthy and making sure that you get up during the day and you don't kill yourself sitting at your computer. Get up, walk around, grab your water, grab your delicious food, maybe take your dogs for a walk because they like walks. Any questions, comment below. Hope to hear from you.